Hello there. I haven't been making many videos. It's a very important time in my life right now, and I'm trying to get to where I can sustain myself uh, long term. But in the meantime, I thought I would give everyone an update on how my Super Smash Brothers 64 version collection is going, and it is going pretty dang well. I'm going to present these in order chronologically, not of release date, but of uh, what time I got them. And I will include a post uh, down below where I list all of the release dates for every version. And I'm just going to be showing the physical copies that I have because it's kind of hard to show the digital ones without gameplay video. So my first version here I got when I was a kid is the Player's Choice version, uh, the US uh, NTSC release. And it's, yeah, a classic, obviously. Uh, the English version, uh, or the NTSC U uh, North American release is really what brought S Smash Bros. into its stardom. So, I got uh, the next version almost specifically after I started speedrunning. And that's the Japanese copy here, the Japanese NTSC release. This game is not uh, very well finished uh, upon release, but is amazing for how much... I think it's rather incredible how well they did with the budget uh, and time. It's really an excellent game, although it is somewhat unfinished, especially in the one-player mode with uh, CPU. So, the next version I got, because I decided that I would be collecting all of the versions uh, after the Wii. I did get the Wii version um, before the Japanese NTSC release, um, the U Wii US vir uh, virtual console release, and it, um, I did some speedruns on them. Uh, it, it's not a very good version for speedrunning, and Frankly, I don't really like the way the GameCube controller tries to emulate the N64 stick without any additional adapters. Um, so, so this is my next release here. I got the original release from the US. This one's a little banged up. Label's a little bit banged up, but um, I knew that I wanted all the versions, so I got this one as well. Not any different than the other one, other than it's not the player's choice one. Um, and I got the Japanese Wii release af uh, after that, and it's uh, I can only download the ISO and play it on a hacked Wii. So uh, the next physical copy I got was the PAL Australian version I got uh, I think about two months ago, and it's pretty interesting. Uh, I haven't seen the uh, European card. I'm not sure if that's proper left and right for you, but yeah. Smash Bros. And it's not able to be played on any of my systems. I'm going to need to buy a PAL television and a power adapter and a PAL N64 as well with all the cords, so uh, that kind of has to be delayed a little bit more before I finish my collection. Um, I have the PAL Virtual Console release, uh, the original PAL N64 release, and technically, if you want to count it, the Brazilian release. Uh, I'll include a post down below about that too. Um, thank you guys for watching, and as always, take care. Alright guys, so what am I still doing here? Um, 
in between on the first take. I thought the first take was rather nice. Um, it flowed pretty well, but I did forget one very large detail in between the Australian PAL version and the Japanese Wii uh, Virtual Console ISO uh, obtainment, I got the IQ version. This is a very important addition to the video and <laughs> frankly it's pretty funny that I forgot it but that's just how it is and I guess I, always, I already said my intro, so I'm just going to end it awkwardly on a pause and maybe a bit of eye contact.